welcome to the second part of the twisted part tutorial. It took a while because I was very busy again. So let's check it out. Uh, let's assemble these bodies into the part body. Select them all, go to assemble, to the part body and OK. Set this one in work. And maybe I hide the other ones the geometrical sets. There is a small error, so I would have to go to my hold and change one dimension. That should do the trick. And OK, it's done. OK, I need a pocket, so I will do a pocket with this sketch. Make it symmetric, merit extent, 5 millimeters, that's OK. Now I need some fillets. First I will use a tritangent fillet. This face with that face over there, and this one should be removed. OK. Uh, maybe I can, yeah, make a fillet with one millimeters right here and there and here and there select the face, remove it, I just want the edge that's okay it one 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 nope yep and maybe this one one as well. So it would go around and around and around. Yeah. Okay. Make it two on this edge. Okay. And here I would need some sort of variable radius. Yeah. Okay, I need to uh, fill it with a variable radius and some points which define the radius. So maybe first I will make a fillet over here and over there. Small one. And then I could do the on the inside, make it two, take the user selection filter, this one, that one, this edge, that edge. This one, that one, and this one, that's okay. Here, here, yes, another one here, and this edge, okay, 
right here and right there. Yeah, that's nice. And I might do on this edge another one. Let's say one. Yeah. So maybe I should do this before I assemble it. So I will go to the I think it's the sub base. Let's define this the working object and show just the working object. Nope. Maybe that's it. Yeah. I could do a fillet right here. Okay. Take a look, yes. And maybe I should do this also before assembling it. Let's take a look at the sub base. Yeah. So maybe. here and one here and one over there yeah and define this the working object and take a look so I lost some and I have to place replace them that's the one yeah, of course, this can't be used because so maybe I delete that one. Okay, and yep. So I will delete this one as well. And fullets are always a little bit prob problematic. So, okay, let's check it. Two might be too much. Let's try. That's okay. Then the search that one. This one, yes, and this edge, that edge, and this edge. Okay, looks nice. Then make it one millimeters for these two works okay one here and there okay so next one with a variable radius which starts here goes all around let's make it with one and check it that looks nice yeah, and I would like to have some sort of different radius over here, so I go back to the fillet and add some more points. Maybe an end point 
here come on here another endpoint over there on the other side as well an endpoint on that edge on this one and maybe in between I create some points on curve with a certain distance let's say point 2 from the curve length oh no maybe one zero point one five of the curve length okay and another one zero point one five Same on this side, create a point on that curve, distance on curve, ratio of curve length, the same as on the other one, yep, create another point on this edge, reverse direction, 0 0.15, okay, and change this to maybe three 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 and check it out yeah maybe something like that Oops, sorry like this and I'm done so I hope you enjoyed this and see you next time